second and I'm looking at the car now and I wanted to do this looking at the car because to certain enthusiasts vehicles are you know we love our vehicles but this car was a car that I grew up looking at on, on a poster of Need for Speed Most Wanted in my bedroom and I would play the heck out of that game until I got to that point and I would just drive that car around and I spent I don't know probably a couple hundred hours in my room driving that car I told myself one day I was gonna own it I didn't you know when you're young you're yeah I'm gonna own this I'm gonna own that you know um, but something about this resonated with me and uh, I'm just here to tell you that if you have a dream and if you have something you believe in it is 100% achievable. By no means was this easy, and by no means is it easy, but if you work towards it, you will get there. So please don't ever stop believing. Please don't ever stop dreaming. Because pretty soon, that dream will become a reality. Like it is right now. Thank you guys. Jesus. Oh. What'd you get there, buddy? Oh, you know, you know, I just stopped at the old Harbor Freight there for your quality goods uh, services. Uh, got some uh, some drill bits. You could be doing some drilling. Yeah, we're gonna dr we're, dr <laughs> we're drilling we're drilling, each we're drilling each other is what we're doing. Oh God. With the step bits. Ooh, Fun. surprise on both ends. It'll be nice. All right, solution. It's been a long time since you've been on the channel. Good to see you again, buddy. Anyway, you guys, so this is for Lucian's BMW letters and numbers. Uh, 2002 BMW E46 330Ci Coupe, the five-speed manual. There you go. All right, so I'm going to drop a couple clips right here. Okay, Lucian, I'm only saying this because I care about you and your safety and your well-being, but are those Harbor Freight jack stands? So that's Lucian's car, and you might be wondering what exactly we're doing, but it's BMW, right? So you couldn't find the correct rotors for the... So I... <laughs> oh, okay, so back in November, yep. um, I had been looking for wheels for like two or so months. Yep. And I came across a company called NDCI Machining, shout out to you guys, um, who makes a wheel hub conversion kit that converts it from not only 5x120, but 5x114.3 as well. So you just have more wheel options. So we have a, an ad, a l astronomical amount of wheels that we can pick from now. So I went right. ahead and I bought the, uh, the conversion kit that came with this cool little die little template that we use to get these little yeah holes. it's actually pretty slick it's just 3d printed but yeah. what are you doing using a center punch so that when I drill into my rotors for my new lug stud holes I know where to drill and you're probably asking yourself why am I redrilling lug stud holes on a rotor that already has lug stud holes well, it's because I decided to buy a BMW and I thought it was a great idea. Not so much? And then I tried to find rims. <laughs> and it took two months and then I found a wheel hub conversion kit. So we're gonna have a five by one fourteen bolt pattern. With, on... with, 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 Harbor Freight drill bit. Yeah, Harbor, Harbor Freight, Freight drill, drill bits. bits. Yeah, there we go. So, sign of the cross. <laughs> yeah. Didn't even get it all. Wait, it's wet. It's got with the oil. It's the glue. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Well, we got one. <laughs> garbage somewhere. Uh, here, I got you. Sick. I'm uh, gonna go to the bathroom. Just kidding. It's PG. Are you recording now? Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> God like, damn it, quit moving. So... This was easy up until the point where I wanted to. There. Oh, perfect. So precise. <laughs> well, here goes the fourth one.
watch out for the string. Right? Where is it? Keep backing into that. That's your last one right there. It's kind of hard to see sometimes, man. Yeah. There's all five. Should we try to do some of the big ones? Yeah, probably a good idea. All right, so here's one like half done, I guess. So you can see where the bit kind of doesn't make it all the way through. So we're gonna have to flip this rotor around and do the backside. But actually, you know, these bits are working pretty good. Like I'm actually pretty surprised. 10 out of 10, money Would well recommend, spend. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got it taped off here so we can see exactly where we're going. Like I said, we're gonna have to flip this whole thing around and drill it from the backside too. Uh, it's a little sketchy in a few spots. Like where's that one? Right there, look at this. Look at how close that is but the company sent you these templates, right? Yeah, they did. All right, they so. They said it would work. All right, well, <laughs> if it works. A little longer than a few minutes later. Okay, next supercar question. Like, only for clout, only for bragging rights, what would your stupid, regrettable supercar purchase be? Um, it would probably be a Ferrari 458 Italia on air ride suspension with a Liberty Walk kit and some steezy three-piece ARE, three-piece wheels. I said three-piece <laughs> twice, but yeah. <laughs> you gotta get them six-piece. <laughs> six uh, I feel like that would serve absolutely no purpose other than to be like, I got one of these. Like, look at me. That's literally what it is. The boys come over for beers, we just sit and look at it like it's a Mona Lisa. Except it'd be mics for you. Hey, yo. Last one. You ready for this? I don't know, man. I think I'm ready for my machinist degree. <laughs> <laughs> One freaking doinker. So What's up? So excited. So yeah, so we took the drill press and we drilled out these rotors so that hopefully everything works the way it should and now he's got a lot more wheel options with his new hub. So European car scene, you guys, and I'm not gonna blame you for getting me into it, but you, you didn't stop me, right? And I got an Audi, he's got the BMW and we both come from JDM cars, much easier to work on. Like Wait. this European crap is not like, it's, they're fun when they work and they're fun when you can find the things that are supposed to do the thing for the thing for, for the thing they're, they're just not as they're not as moddable i mean they are but everything's you know where there's two steps on a jdm car there's like five you know or more so i don't know i'm excited to see the car but we got our toilet so you can see we drilled these new holes and yeah i'm a machinist now basically so hopefully all this works out for you we're gonna clean these things out and then i'll get back to you guys